Howdy guys, IndiePixel here, and I'm super excited to announce that I have completed another course that has been sponsored by SideFX Software. And in this course, what we're going to do is we're going to actually learn about how to model a sci-fi vehicle completely inside of Houdini. Now, one of the, the core goals of this particular course was to look at how we can create more of a hybrid modeling approach to proceduralism. What I really am trying to impress throughout this particular course is how you can start to take elements of proceduralism and apply it to your current modeling pipelines just to expedite the process of modeling a particular type of vehicle. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at how we can create individual tiny tools. Again, like I said, to insert proceduralism into our pipelines just to speed up the modeling tasks that we do over and over and over again. All right, so we're going to take a look at how to use Booleans. We're going to take a look at how to set up the piping structures that are all created procedurally in this case. And we're going to just take a look at a bunch of different types of techniques to allow us to rapidly create and iterate on our particular models. You know, by the end of the course, what we're going to do is we're going to end up with the model that you see here inside of Unity and inside of Unreal. So we're going to walk through that process. Throughout the course, you're also going to take a look at how to lay out UVs for the dropship using a couple different techniques. So we're going to cover how to lay out UVs using the flatten UV node and also a couple of auto generation type of UV techniques. Plus, we're going to take a look at how this terrain is set up. And we're also going to look at how to prep your models for Substance Painter. So that way you get the actual vertex color masks produced for you. All right, so by the end of the course, what we're gonna do is you're gonna have a full overview of how to create terrains inside of Houdini, how to create the vehicles inside of Houdini, how to create Houdini digital assets to take care of tasks like piping and detailing and cuts and paneling lines. And we're also going to end up by taking a look at how to set up the post effects inside of both Unity and inside of Unreal. So. By the end of the course, you'll have this complete overview of how to set up vehicles using Houdini and procedural techniques.